Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel called Hope for Ashbourne. This video is called The Shield. I guess it's not every day you're in need of a battle shield. Fortunately, it isn't a frequent occurrence in Ashbourne that you're attacked by armed bandits and need the protection of a shield. But we do have other things that we use in a similar way. There's been lots of news reports recently about PPE, personal protective equipment, masks and face shields to keep hospital staff safe. On a happier note, you might sometimes be needing shielding from the sun or the opposite and need the protection of an umbrella in the rain. Some jobs and sports need some sort of shielding for safety. Even our computers need protecting. Americans call the front window of a car the windshield. It withstands the force of the wind as you're driving along. Or maybe you've experienced hail pounding down on the car or a small stone ricocheting off the windscreen and we're thankful for that shield. We all want to be kept safe in our cars, in our jobs, in sports and now with this virus people feel anxious and afraid and we want more than anything else to be safe and secure. Is there any hope? Are we meant to just trust in a mask and a face shield? Is that the only hope we've got? Well, in these short videos, we've been looking at the message of hope in the Bible, especially a part of the Bible called Psalms, right in the middle. And there we find some wonderful descriptions of what God is like to help us know him. In other videos, we thought about God, our fortress, our light and our shepherd. And we're thinking now about a shield. Perhaps that's an activity some of the children might enjoy, making and painting shields of their own. But let's turn to the Bible and read just a couple of sentences there. It's all in Psalm 18 today, verse 1 and 2. I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. He is my shield. Now, David, the man who wrote those words, was a soldier, a veteran of the army. He knew what it was like to go into battle armed with a sword and a shield. And the things David must have experienced Perhaps those frightening moments, crouching down behind a shield as enemies fired volleys of arrows. He would hold up that board made of wood or metal or leather and trusted in it to keep him safe. But no, David says, he trusted God. He knew God was the one who would keep him safe. He says later on in that psalm, you give me the shield of victory and your right hand sustains me. He knew he was trusting not in some metal or wooden shield, but in God's hand that was close by, a hand of love that was caring for him and sustaining him. And so it is for us. God's the one who cares for us and sustains our lives. Of course, that doesn't mean we're never ever gonna struggle or get sick or have problems. David certainly had plenty of his own, but he knew that God would be with him and so can we. He can sustain us through those difficulties. David says again in the Psalm, the word of the Lord is flawless. He's a shield for all those who take refuge in him. God gives us his perfect word, the Bible. Read it and you'll discover the amazing true account of the life of Jesus, God's Son. Perhaps look in your house, see if you've got a Bible tucked away on a shelf somewhere, or maybe you can find one online to read. As we discover that shield that is found in the perfect Word of God, and we can cry out to God when we're in trouble, and we can pray to Him, and we read, if we put our trust in Him, he will be our shield. God isn't some sort of lucky charm, so nothing sad or difficult will ever happen, but he will always help and care for us, even in the most challenging of times. 
And ultimately, if we are trusting in Jesus, we are safe. He is a shield. He's the one who died to save us. He was the one who took the blows to protect us. He was punished on the cross so that we could be free and safe behind his shield. And if we know him, we'll find in Jesus a real and genuine hope. I pray that you'll discover the truth that's there in the Bible, that God can be your shield. God bless. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, so they put your shield in the way.